start with the name of almighty allah who is the most merciful most beneficent assalam alaikum dear educarians how are you all hope you all are fine by the grace of allah inshallah dear students as you know this is our fourth lesson of science and we had started unit number 4 natural resources and in previous lesson we discussed about changes in our environment and endangered animals in pakistan in today's lesson we are going to solve our exercise i hope you all are excited for this lesson so let's start the material required for this lesson is pencil eraser highlighter and science textbook i hope you all collected all these things and you are ready for this lesson firstly we are going to revise our previous lesson in our previous lesson we discussed about changes in our environment there are many people living on our planet but there is a limited amount of natural resources for all living things it is up to us to take care of our environment and make sure we are not wasting our precious resources after that we learn about endangered animals of pakistan when trees are cut down for use as firewood or timber we also lose the wildlife which lives there some of the endangered species of pakistan include markhor mountain weasel asian black bear balochistan forest dormouse black finless porpoise is european otter vole and indus river dolphin here is the content of our today's lesson as you know we had started unit number 4 natural resources and today we are going to solve exercise from textbook page number 39 till 42 so let's start the learning objectives of our today's lesson are after today's lesson you will be able to do brain teaser you will be able to discuss word to learn and concept map by the end of the lesson you will be able to solve exercise that are at the end of our unit now we are going to start our today's lesson so open your science textbook from page number 39 right day date and today's task i hope you all collected all the things that we needed for this lesson so let's begin brain teaser has we have an interesting activity unjumble these words here our first word is minerals second is fertile third word is humus and fourth one is metallic here's our next topic is words to learn these words are here to develop student science vocabulary and our first word is fertile fertile mean capable of growing many plants students underline this line second word is humus the part of soil composed of remains of dead plants and animals underline this line third one is minerals metallic or non metallic natural resources usually found underground underline this line our next topic is concept map concept map enhance learning and understanding of subject matter content especially for visual learners they help students to see relationship between scientific concepts as we had discussed different natural resources in this unit in this unit firstly we discussed about soil soil is the ground or the top surface of the earth in desert and rocky places there is very little soil some soils are good many plants grow in them such soils are called fertile soils after that we discussed about water water is an essential natural resource on our planet 3/4 of the earth is covered by water the amount of fresh water on land is very small only 3% as compared to the amount of sea water we use fresh water for most of our needs after that we discussed about wind wind is also a natural resource which has a large effect on the lives of humans plants and animals at the last we discussed about metallic and non metallic minerals pakistan has a very good supply of non metallic minerals such as emeralds and rubies 
now we are going to start our exercise question number one is choose the correct answer first one is cutting down forests does not impact dash a air b climate c land d gypsum and our answer is d gypsum number two is any useful material found in nature is called a dash a man made resource b natural resource c glass d plastic and our answer is b natural resource number 3 is to preserve natural resources for the future we have to dash a look for more b not waste them c consume more of them d use them more frequently and our answer is b not waste them number 4 is an example of an endangered animal is dash a cat b dog c cow d forest dormouse and our answer is d forest dormouse number 5 is what kind of natural resource do you use when you fly a kite a water b air c plants d animals and our answer is b air Question number 2 is fill in the blanks. First one is the remains of dead plants and animals in the soil are called humus. Number 2 is almost dash of the earth is covered by water. 3/4. Number 3 is dash are the types of natural resources usually found under the ground minerals. Number 4 is dash is one of the endangered species in Pakistan. marhor i hope you all understand today's lesson your today's task is learn exercise of unit number 4 from textbook i hope you will complete this task with zeal and zest squats squat is a simple exercise that build leg strength to give kids a good foundation for all kinds of sports and fitness activities try forward backward and side as well as classic squats squats are easy to do they also enhance your mood today we are going to talk about some benefits of squats squats build up leg strength squats improve stability squats improve balance squats improve coordination i hope today's lesson is helpful for you and you all understand each and every point i'll see you in next lesson take care of yourself see you soon inshallah till that time allah hafiz have a good day